TCS guys here. Aaron Judge, New York Yankees. He's back. Nine years. $360 million. It's a boatload of money. There was arson judge. John Heyman set the world ablaze yesterday when he said he was going to the San Francisco Giants. His for, twin brother. His twin brother. For right. Aaron Judge, Bo Bice's brother, Eric Bice. Uh, shout out for those who get that reference, Deep Cut. For Aaron Judge, no other team made sense to me but the New York Yankees. Not at all. You're the king of New York already. Solidify yourself and bring a championship to that city. It would have been bizarre if he went to the Giants. Apparently, they're, they're giving him the captain um, really? term. Wow, the designation of captain? Yep. It's pretty big, honestly. I mean, the you don't really... The last captain was, was Jeter. Yeah, I mean, last, how many captains, like Veritech, right? Like, other than those three teams, you don't really... I mean, it'd be interesting, like Machado for your team if they did it. I, you don't really have anybody yet for the Rangers. But, hey, if Seager, Sammy, and have a good second yeah. year, you never know. Lighter, yeah. he's coming up with the pipeline. To me, like, if the Giants had Aaron Judge, they still would have been the... Th after losing Rodon, they would have presumably been the third best team in that division, even with him. Like, the New York Yankees, now that they have Aaron Judge, they can operate as normal. They can go get somebody else. I'm not saying they're going to go get Carlos Correa or go get Xander Bogarts. But they're still in on Rodon. They should be still on Rodon, 100%. They can go get some more bullpen help. They can now manipulate the market the way, the way they want to do it. Yes, they, ha they don't have the money to play with anymore, but the money is where they want it to be with Aaron Judge. Right. The Dodgers would have been interesting. They let Turner go, obviously. I think they'll let both Turners go, presumably. Bellinger's gone. They get some money off the books. They get a lot of money off the books. I they get think David Price's contract off the books, too. That, people are, that was $30 million. Massive. I would imagine I'm like Correa type deal. That could be interesting. I yeah. think cr fingers crossed. It looks like Bogarts is going to you know stay home. They're pretty which sneaky is great. quiet, which I'm, which worries me. Yeah, you the, should the, be worried. the Dodgers because usually they try to make a big splash every single season. Are they trying to maybe save for something for next season to go after Otani, make a bigger move, or are they looking just to see who's going to be available with these next couple of days, whether that be Correa, Dansby Swanson, Xander Bogarts? Some of the Japanese guys have been posted as well. I know the Mets are in, on, right. in, in there. It, it's very interesting, though, that you bring up Otani. No one's talking about him being available in trade, but he could easily be a major fish, not only at the deadline, but in, in free agency next season. You're getting two players in one. Your Padres offered Trey Turner the highest contract ever. For a shortstop, he declined and went to Philly. Now they apparently offered Judge four hundred million dollars, and he said no. Mm -hmm. What? Why do you quickly think that is? Like, why are these guys turning that down? Because well, it's a great team. I think for Judge's scenario, he's turning that down because he wanted to stay in New York, sure. and it's the same amount of money per year. It's forty million dollars a year. So that extra year, that extra 10 years in San Diego, it doesn't make a big difference to him. He wanted to stay in New York, yeah, and they got it done. I yeah. think that. How Steinbrenner knew that what was going on in San Francisco and San Diego, he got on the phone with Judge, and Judge was like, look, I want to be in New York. So he gave him that extra ninth year. Um, for Trey Turner's situation, he's from the East Coast, from Florida, and his wife is from New Jersey, and he's expressed ever since leaving the Nationals that he'd want to return to the East Coast. So I already saw that happening. Well, I yeah. think we all three were very much aware that exactly. Trey Turner was going to be going. And turn it into basically the, the Dodgers of the East Coast, just from a roster creation yeah. standpoint. The oh, Phillies. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely and I also amazing. believe that there probably was a little bit of uncertainty where he'd play next year if he was in San Diego. Would he be a shortstop? Would he move the outfield? Would Great he go to point. second base? I think he wants that stability just to know that he's going to be the shortstop for the Phillies, who are a great team, who were in the World Series. So, Shortstops and quarterbacks, man. Like, yeah. they, they love that. And you bring up the Phillies. They also signed Taiwan Walker. Had Aaron Judge, he didn't, obviously, but had he left New York, it would have been the biggest whiff in a re-signing in the history of sports, in my opinion. Hmm. Bigger than LeBron James. Actually, not even a question in my mind when the Cavs missed out on LeBron for him going to Miami. It would have been yeah, the biggest it's, miss. It's the Cavs. You're talking about the Yankees here. You're talking about the New York Yankees. Who should Especially be seen if by he nobody. Gone, exactly. like, like you said, if he went to the Giants and they're the third best team in the division, even with Judge. I mean, when people are tweeting your potential lineup and everyone is like, that's still not a good lineup. Right. One through nine, like that's not a good hitting lineup. Yeah. Like even with Aaron Judge. No. Yeah, last year's MVP. Then you know don't make the move. What you say yesterday, do think he, could be the fourth team. I do think he like the Giants leveraged the price point though. Sure. And yep. Aaron Judge should be happy about that. Yeah. I mean, he was going to get the Yankees, whatever he wanted, had to match, he was going to have to get from the guys in the pinstripes. Other than that, I mean, they, I think they just, did they sign Cashman to the extension before the deal was done? I believe they did. I think they did. Kind of wild. They're, I mean, they must have known. They're committed to three players over $300 million. First team in baseball history. 
Stanton. Probably first team in, hit, in sports history. Yeah, Stanton, Cole, and Judge. and Judge. I mean, now we'll see how they can develop the farm. It's always one of the biggest parts in baseball. You could spend all the money you want, but you need you know the 20-something other guys in the roster that you bring up through the minors. Yeah. Right, and, and our homegrown guys. Uh, I, I don't know. Great, they, it's great for baseball. They bring him back. Uh, am I stoked as a Red Sox fan? Probably not, but like it's great for baseball. They bring him back. It's a win for the NL West. I'll say that right now. If he wasn't going to come to the Padres, I'm glad he's not staying in the division and going to the Dodgers or the Giants. I mean, huge for them. I just don't. I, the Yankees still need to make another move. They still need, they need to do more. They need they need to do more. It's not enough yet because they lose Tyone. He's gone to the Cubs and mm-hmm. say which he's not. Is he a, you know all star? No, but he he eats innings. This pitching market has been crazy. Yeah. Like in terms of how much money guys are getting. Like Taiwan, Taiwan Walker. What? Yeah. Wild. Wild. Quintana wild going to the Mets. I mean, of course, you had DeGrom. You got Verlander. You got all these guys. But names are kind of flying off the board here. And that Joe Musgrove extension that the Padres made steel. looks amazing. <laughs> steel. Steel, steel, steel. And crazy steel. Speaking of steel before we rock. I was thinking of who's the team to beat in the AL. Now the judge is gone and Verlander, judge is staying and Verlander's gone. I still think it's the Astros. They, the the Jose Abreu signing, yeah. like, <laughs> under they're the radar. Fine. And they're, they've got great pitching still. It's wild, yep. wild, wild. All right, we'll see you next time out of the Believe offices.